All right, Neil Johnson joins us here on Wisconsin.Golf after a 74 in the third round of the second stage of Corn Ferry Q School here at Marietta. Um, again, we've talked about it all week. We, we don't know how good or bad a score is on a given day because every day there's a, something different. And uh, today a little bit of a breeze at times, but uh, it, it seemed like there were maybe some low scores out there. How did the course play today? We have to ask that first, you know, compared to the first two because that's so much a big part of the storyline. Yeah, it has been. I mean, it was... I felt like it was gettable. I mean, a guy in my group shot 68 today, and it was, wasn't like it was anything magical, or I was like, oh man, he's making putts, or this or that. It was just a solid 68, so that's out there. Um, and, you know, I, I, I know my game well enough that, you know, whatever I shoot, I kind of know, I know if I lost some or, you know, gained some to the field, pretty much. I just, I always have a pretty good sense of that. And I, I could tell out there, I'm like, yeah, you know, it, it was gettable today. A um, little bit of breeze, but nothing crazy. And there were there were there were some tricky pins, but then there were some some other holes that you got to get. Um, you know, when it's the third day, um, you know that literally always is kind of the moving day. I know that's the cliche, but yeah. it, but it but it just is because they always kind of throw those those oddball pins at you mm -hmm. um, or those T placements too. They might move move it up just a bit or something like that. You know, so it's always like. Yeah, you, you just got to be ready to go and get it. And um, yeah, I took a step back with the 74. Um, wasn't able to wasn't able to make enough birdies, make make the putts. Was um, there a difference in what you did today versus yesterday? Anything that about you? Yeah, well, yeah. This the, literally the step back I took was just the, the comfort of the trust on the on the course. Like the first two days we had talked, first day was like, whoa, you know, this this is this is this is crazy. How fast and firm and everything this course is. It's tough. Like let's just. Let's figure it out, you know, get more comfortable every day. Yesterday I felt more comfortable. You know, I had a few, uh, you know, sloppy shots yesterday that, you know, cost me, but then I saved a couple. And then today it was kind of right back to square one where I'm just like, wait, what happened? Um, the first hole, my, my, my approach shot skips over the back as if it landed on ice. I mean, it's just right over the back. It was right in the middle of the fairway. Um, and then I had three shots after that, or three or four shots after that, that landed right by the hole and just sucked back, you know, a long ways. Um, one of them sucked back off the green, you know, into the rough. And but I got this little now I got this little chip, and I'm like, okay, you just plop it out of here. It's gonna land like a bag of sand. I'm only 15 feet from the hole, and it lands again, like it landed on a, you know, like it landed on concrete. Mm -hmm. and it runs to like 12 feet. And I'm mm -hmm. like, okay, my 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 tee shot. You know, it didn't skip and then check. It literally just jumped back right away with spin, and then the, the, the chips would land like it's landing right. on carpet all the time. Um, and then I had two in the back nine on 13 and 15, where the pins were both up on top of tiers. And one of them, I, I mean, they were both, you know, I took a little off of the wedges on both, which should take a little spin off of them. Mm -hmm. And, but I hit them solid and thinking it's going to skip and then grab perfect. And they both landed right up on top and this zipped back to, you know, 30 feet on both of them. Like, wow. okay, well, you know, now you're in that zone coming up the tier where you could three putt. I two putted them both. But it was like, that was the step back. I was like, uh -huh. I thought I had an understanding of the greens, but when you're chipping, you're chipping out of concrete. When you're hitting a full shot, you're hitting into some pretty receptive greens mm -hmm. appa apparently especially out of the fairway like right. on that 15th hole the two guys I was playing with were in the rough and they looked like they both had some bad lies and they landed it on the front of the green and it rolled up the tier you know right up on top and they both made it and then my lands on top and spins back and I'm like okay that's the difference like you gotta you gotta figure out how to control your ball um, and I know how to control my ball yeah. I, just, I just didn't know how I was gonna react right and I was off too many times today with that so you, you don't really need to know exactly where you are in relation to 20 and ties but you you probably either way know you've got to go low tomorrow yeah. and you've you've done that before how do you you know what are the things you got to check off the list to be able to do that in this situation on this golf course you know with the experience that you have doing that in so many events well i mean it, it'll come down to i hope i hope i have a feeling a trust in, in, in the way the course is playing. Um, you know, I I, I, I hope it, if, if, if it continues to play like that, like if, 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 if I get out here tomorrow and, and I have those shots and I hit a, you know, I hit a gap wedge from 115 yards and it lands and 
lands like it's on concrete, skips over the back tomorrow, mm -hmm. as opposed to me thinking, you know, now I'm thinking it's gonna just stop or maybe spin right. back, I can play for that, you know, I'll try and fly at 120. But if it skips forward, you know, over the back of the green, then I'm then I'm toast, you mm -hmm. know, then, but that would be to where, that'd be two different courses from yesterday to today. So mm -hmm. I don't think it can possibly change that much. Um, so it just comes down to really believing, hey, you know, I've been out here for five days now playing this course with the practice rounds. <clears throat> you know, you know how the course is going to react, um, especially when you're in the fairway and mm -hmm. I hit in the rough. I know that I can play those little runners. Um, and then just have, I mean, my, the, the experience, I guess, helps me with the belief that I can do it. Right. Um, I can go out and put a really, really good round together. Um, and just execute for 18 holes as opposed to having, you know, maybe 14, 15 holes, you know, that are that are good, and then yeah. two or three kind of holes where you just. Cause I was gonna ask. I mean, if the times that you've shot 63s and 64s to, you know, come from way back to to at least be in the in the conversation, is that the result? It has to be the result of a hole by hole process, and not necessarily yeah. a you know, I'm gonna go shoot 63 or 64. Yeah. Yep. And they're always. And, it, and I've, I've done it both ways. I've done it with hot starts. I've done it with, you know, late rallies. Um, but yeah, it's always, uh, e e even even the late rallies, you look at those first nine holes, it's just like, okay, yeah, it was still solid in those, and you know, I was, I was, you know, I was controlling the ball, hitting it where I wanted to, you know, just, <clears throat> you know, the putts didn't go into the front side or the first few holes or whatever it is. And you know, I, I had someone tell me recently, you know, that everything, especially putting, but everything, you know, it's like it's like trying to light a match. You know, sometimes you you miss it, you miss it, you miss it. You know, and then all of a sudden you get it, and, mm -hmm. and you got a fire going. Right. Um, and that's what I've been trying, kind of for all week, is just to build for that. Yeah. Um, and I needed to I needed to start fire tomorrow. And the fire, a, it may not take a, a huge flame to get True. where you want to go. Yep. And and uh, or a low number. I mean, it may the the concept of a low number out here, as I wrote today, was kind of. You know, it's kind of relative, yeah. Thankfully, yeah. I mean, I mean, I'm I'm glad that it's like, I'm yeah, too, I'm too over, and it's like I'm not going to be ten shots back of the number, like, right? You know, I don't have right. to shoot a 59 tomorrow. And so, no one's shooting for okay. at least so far. No one's shot 368s. I mean, someone shot two, okay. but I mean, it's like you know, I mean, we haven't seen that steady stream of you know mm -hmm. 60 this, 60 that. You know, I mean, it's been you know, yeah, kind of like yeah. the stock market. It, yeah, it, I, well, good, good. I, I I haven't looked that closely at the scores. But I would hope so because I've seen that in, you know, all three days the yeah. guys I played with and in my own game where it's just like, yeah, if you if you if you, if you if you just take a hole off or a shot off, I mean, it can really get you in trouble. Sure. Um, and when you're chipping to concrete, yeah. And when you're coming out of a bunker and you're chipping to concrete greens, it's just like, uh, okay, you better you better have you know 20, 20, 30 feet of green to work with yep. so you can run it. Um, but then that also means you got to kind of load it out of the bunker and just land it on the front and release it um so I, I i hope that yeah everyone's having that kind of same run that that i've been seeing from the sure. from from the three days that i've been the guys i've been paired with where <clears throat> it's there's been bogeys i mean i've seen a lot of bogeys and doubles in, in my group um for three days no one's going bogey free so right it's tough. so we'll see yeah. i worked the phrase hole by hole into our conversation <laughs> so your fan club's gonna be happy yeah we, we can call it a day they'll love it perfect All thanks. Right, thanks neil